Welcome back everyone. Um, in today's video, we're going to be continuing on uh, in our TD, our defense series. Um, so uh, we're just going to go through a quick fix um, from before. Um, if you remember the tile, uh, for some reason when we were modulating, it was not turning, uh, it was it was changing from black to red, um, but this is kind of just a fix. Uh, we can now just add this to modulate the actual modulation. This is the color. This is the actual modulation. So now we have it proper. Uh, I'm not sure why, but in my reference, I didn't have to do that, but now uh, I do. I'm not sure why. If you uh, know why, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, but anyways, that's how we fix that. So let's continue on from there. Um, so in our tower, we're going to ignore the upgrade for now. And what we're actually going to do, um, we're not going to... I'm not going to ignore it, but we're going to add some other things for now, um, which is going to be um, the shooting. So for the shooting, what we're going to do is our, in our upgrade, we're going to add a progress bar. And then we're also going to add a timer to that progress bar. In that timer, we're going to set the time wait time to three. Um, we're also going to take the timer. We're going to connect a timeout signal into our main script. There we go. And we're also going to add a built-in script for our progress bar. This is going to be very simple. In the progress bar, I'm just going to copy this piece of code. And we're going to basically just change the max value always to the wait time, uh, because that way it'll always up update. And the value will just be equal to the time left. So now uh, it will constantly update the progress bar depending on the timer. But now let's actually give the progress bar a nice look. So here's our regular progress bar. Let's go to the themes. Let's go to the styles. We'll give it a fill of this and this. And in here, we'll just give it, um, let me I actually forget which one's which. So I'm going to give it a value of 50 so we know which one's which. Okay, so this is the green. Let's give it a green color. And then the background, we'll give it a red color. So which should be uh, this one. There we go. So uh, 255. Whatever. You got that. Um, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to show the percentage. I don't really want to. Uh, now let's just move this right above this guy. I'm going to snap it as big as that. And then I'm just going to make it slightly smaller. Maybe that big. And I'll move it up a little bit. Uh, sorry, and snap it one more time. Now we'll move it up there. Why not? Okay. And now for that. Um, now, last thing we're going to do is... Um, in our ooh, area and collision, okay, oh, there we go, that's why, negative 400. Um, so in our area and, and our collision, the area was just meant to show this. So we now have an area to show the base. Now, if I want to increase or decrease that, it's going to be an issue. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to... This be built in as well we're going to draw so drawing is going to is very useful it's going to allow us to you know draw so this is actually very simple oh, not that it's going to allow us to draw a circle so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle with the center being the center of this the color is going to be red so this is red and then the radius is going to be our get parent get parent which is the tower dot range and we have to add that otherwise we're going to error so um, we're also going to as ready we're going to hide this and now in here what we'll do is i'm going to add all the variables that we're going to need in the future so up here we're going to add these three so we're going to have reload range timer which is just we're reloading the timer and then we're going to have a start shooting uh variable so the range going to be the range that we've got in here. Um, that's going to be a total range of the thing. Uh, we already have bullet damage for our power upgrade. So that's up there already. And reload is going to be our reload timer. So now from there, we're going to switch a bunch of things up. So from now on, we don't want the the tower only to shoot on when, when a soldier enters. We want it to see is there anything in that in that thing if there is shoot at it right away um only on that progress timer only if every time the bullet kind of reloads essentially right so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function called shoot so function shoot i'm going to capitalize it shoot and in here we're actually just going to move this and we're going to put that shoot in there and we're going to just center that or do that and now what we can do is move this down here to shoot um and that would work the exact same so on the body entered we can do this all this however we 
don't want to do that. We don't want to shoot on body entered. We want to move this somewhere else. Well, where can we move that? Well, there's actually a very good way, which is right here. If current here, we're checking if current is, is valid and we can do other things, right? So what we can do in here is say, if the timer is stopped, meaning it's not on, we can start it. If it's, but what I also want to do, hold on. We're also going to do something. Uh, ooh, no, never mind. We're not going to stop it. I lied. Oh, ha, ha. Um, but also, we're going to. One thing before I forget, we're going to update the global position of the progress bar um, right under the player. So this is the position that I'm going to use. Um, it should be right above the player or the tower. Sorry, because remember it's in a node, right? So we have to edit the global position. Okay. Um, so next thing we're going to do. Just going to check what we're doing um, in shoot. So how do we shoot? Well, uh, we want to shoot only when the time runs out. So right here. So we're only we're always going to be updating the things inside of our uh, area every time a soldier enters. So we're going to update every time, every time it enters, every time it exits, right? And now we're also going to shoot depending on if there's something in the timer. So this will allow us to always be shooting if something is in that range. So now I can have here and it'll, we have to wait for it to shot, pop and it'll shoot. If something is in range, it'll shoot at it. And there you go. So now we can now start shooting at things. So from here, we're going to start adding in our upgrades as well. So let's go to upgrade and let's connect the pressed button for each one. So attack speed and power and all those and for the attack speed this is very simple um well, actually it's not very simple but it's relatively simple what we can do is we're going to maximize it as at one so our total timer is three but we're going to maximize it at one if that makes sense so every time i upgrade the attack speed i'm going to increase the reload by 0.1 so this is going to essentially decrease the wait time by the reload. So we're going to decrease the reload every time or wait time by the reload. So three minus reload, right? In the range, this is also quite easy. What we do is, let me find it. We're just going to add to our range. So we're going to say range plus equals 30. Um, and I appear to not have connected power. So let's do that right now. And then power is super duper simple because we already have the bullet damage. We just say bullet damage equals plus equals one, right? Okay, um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a bit of life to our game. So first of all, let's test to see if this works. So here we can now increase range, increase attack speed, power, all that stuff. But it doesn't seem as if any of it works. So um, it does work. So you actually see it can now one shot the things because its power is over 10. So let's actually add a few things that allow us to update. So we're going to add a function called update powers, and we're actually going to call this in our process function always. So it's always going to start updating. So in here, we're going to do three things. We're going to get the node or the label of each one and just set the string or the text for each one. So this is super simple. We're just going to be updating the text. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to update the radius because we are never actually done. So the radius here, we can actually set it through the circle shape. So we can get it by saying, um, let's get the collision shape, get the node dot shape, which is this guy. So shape, and then we're going to say dot radius equals range because the range we're adding 30 every time, right? Now, how do I know if the range is changing? Well, here we're drawing it, right? But it's hidden, so we want to show it. So either we can show it always, right? Which I don't want to do. I want it to only show if I'm hovering the range Button. So I can do that by actually just saying, uh, if range mouse entered, um, we will show that. So I'll say show. Now, if I exit, then I want to hide it. So I'll do the same thing, but I'll just hide. So now when I play, we add a guy and it errors. Why is that? Poo, 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 shape. Um, did I? Ah, that's why. Let's change the name. There we go. So if I hover this, it does that. Why is it doing that? God damn it. Um, probably because the color here. Okay, color will do uh, 0.3. Let's try one more time. Okay, reload. And now there we go. Um, the color, I actually want it to be red. So let's, uh, or green. So I think what 
what color green uh, here we did I believe this one's green so let's copy that one over yeah let's just do this okay so that should be green hopefully now okay, good enough green so now we have a circle a green circle that shows us our range and every time I upgrade it, it increases and that is now our range so I increase it like infinitely almost it'll start shooting really really far Right. Obviously, you might want not want to do this because you now see our range here. And if you hover it, yeah. And that is an interesting bug I've never seen before. Let's not worry too much about that just yet. Um, oops. In our tower, um, let's see. What else do we want to do? Let me see if I missed anything. Um, here we go. In our upgrade, I'm going to do that. Boom, boom, boom. And then update powers. We're going to check that Q3. Okay, I think that is actually it for this. Um, let me check if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, I'm going to actually add some uh, sprites to our range. Let me actually check what sprites I use for my reference. Okay, we're going to use 110 for this guy. Ah. Uh, I don't, I want to make sure I, I'm not changing the icon. I want to actually add a node. Okay, I'll add them and then I'll move them around. Uh, 297. And then I'm also going to do 296. And then this is going to be for the power. This is going to be for the attack speed. This is going to be for the range. Now I'm going to select all these by doing control and selecting all of them. I'm going to reset the position. And then I'm actually going to, ooh, I don't know why they're scaled there. Like that. And then the position, let me check the position they're at. It is 63 by 63. All right, there we go. So now all the positions are kind of centered. So now we have icons for all of them. So now we have a bunch of upgrades. Let me actually hide that again. So now we have a bunch of upgrades. I can upgrade this guy. Uh, we have, we can click it, etc. cetera. Um, this is the attack speed. So as you can see, the more I upgrade it, the faster it shoots. So it maxes out at one. This guy's the power. And yeah, there's our, there's our upgrades. So we can now upgrade our tower properly. That's awesome. Um, I think that'll be actually it for today's video. Um, we will continue on next time with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I forget what we're gonna do next time, but hopefully you guys can tune in, subscribe, and like this video. Also comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Um, I'm going to add a bunch of menus and stuff into this game as well, just to kind of finish it, because uh, I don't really like having an incomplete game. Um, but yeah, and I'll definitely upload some tutorials on how to do that. So definitely check out those videos um, if they're already out. Um, if they're not, then just wait. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. I also have a Twitch down below you should follow. Uh, I've been streaming a lot more lately. I'm going to try to stream more. Um, I also have a Discord. Definitely join my Discord. I'm trying to grow the community that we have. I would love if you guys joined. It would really help me out. And you can definitely help out other people. So definitely do that. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.